Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, this is my next video for you. This is the uh, is the new uh, RGB Phantom Etsy worth it? Continue to watch. Let's find out. The link at the down below if you want to check them out. Right now that Saturday, I've got my Cooler Master Half X Case Mod Part Two coming out. So don't forget to be subscribed. Don't forget. Hey guys, right. So this is uh, this is the are the Etsy fans worth it now? What I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk right now. What I'm going to do is skip this part from talking, go straight into the RGB aspect of it, and then we'll get back to talking. So continue watching. Right then. So this is the uh, RGB aspect of the RGB fan. Sorry I'm not in the, the shot. It's because I want to take specifically this moment to show you what the RGB is like using the Etsy fans. Now, these are new. They came out... Uh, just before Christmas last year, so they're fairly new for RGB Phantom Etsy. Now, yes, I had problems with the original set I bought, but Etsy, they uh, reached out. They said, oh, we'd uh, really like to resolve this issue that customer support is the most important thing to us. So I thought, go on then. Right, so they said, what fans do you want? Right, okay, and I, I picked these ones because these are the newest ones. So, right, let's get into the RGB aspect. Now, the fans do go to 1500 RBM. Now, now, if you hear a rattle, that's not Etsy's fault. That is because I've got them stacked up. But, something I will say, they aren't, they, you can't hear them. But, this is a full blast of 1500 RPM. These are really quiet at... At this speed, to barely hear them. So, right, so right, they push a lot of air. They do push quite a uh, quite amount of air. So, right, let's get into the RGB aspect. Now it's on rainbow at the moment, but as you can see from here, look, it's got loads of different type of buttons. Now that MB, but there's from motherboard sync. I haven't connected up to my motherboard because I want to do an individual video of this. Just the lighting aspect, because uh, I'm having a case, of course, there, the uh, Powerbase 500X. So what I'm going to do is put these in that case and show you much better back in that video. So let's get to the RGB aspect. Now, you have got different types of modes from what I'm, from my personal um, experience, as well as my impressions of it, is... The RGB aspect is really nice. Now, they've got this white covering around here on the corners, as you can see, which blur. It reflects on the RGB, which is directly on the hub itself. Uh, these are a hydraulic bearing, so basically they've got fluid. Uh, so over time, once dust and stuff starts getting in, they will end up failing. But at the moment, these are fantastic. I do love the colours, and you can speed it up. Just, whoa. Just, that is crazy. Right, so there's that one. This mode, that is just absolutely crazy. Look at that, like, look at that. <laughs> I just love it. That is so cool. I love the RGB. Now, I wish the other fans had this kind of feature because the other fans I had a bad experience with because the bearings on one of the fans was completely gone. It was clicking, but these bearings are really quiet. I can't hear them. You may hear a clicking, but that's because I've got them on each other like this, so there's a vibration there. But other than that, from what I can hear, the bearings sound perfect. So there's that mode, there's this mode. That's really nice. There's a couple of modes on here that I really like. Now, what you can do is just slow it down. Right, slow it down. Now, you can have this kind of feature... But look at that. That is so cool. Look at the RGB aspect there. You can see it in the video. See, look, it shines lovely right around that ring. Well, because it's got this plastic, this uh, like see through uh, plastic casing around the actual framing, it bounces off that so the, the light is better. So this is it in uh, yellow. That's orange. The orange isn't very nice. The pink. The pink, uh, no, it's purple, sorry. This is lovely. This is the, see, I love purple for some reason. I don't know why I'm just kind of thinking, right? Blue. It does look like a green, but 
obviously it depends. That's white. The white is really nice. Red. Lovely colour. Green. The green very is very vibrant. It pops. If you've seen any of the photos I put online, you'll you'll notice that it's very vibrant. And then we got a blue. Now the blue is very nice. The blue um the aspect of the blue is very nice the way it uh goes around the actual fins and illuminates around that ring in the frame. So if we press auto, auto will just do that, but I wouldn't, me personally, what I do is I'd press that by there. That's just for modes, that is. Now, you can just, that's as high as it goes. Speed, that's, I mean, that's literally like, you know, <laughs> you know, that, that, that'd give me a headache. But that, that, oh, I, I can't do that one. But this one isn't so bad. I'd slow it down, to be honest. So look, I'd slow it down. I do like the rainbow aspect of it. Now, the rainbow, that is actually nice, the way it reflects off. Now, I'd slow this down. Really down. Now, that's it. That is slower speed. And then what I do, and I'd slow the fans down to the slowest there. Now, look at that. That's absolutely stunning. So, what we'll do now is we'll have a chat, and then we'll get back into the video. Right, so that's it. You saw the RGB aspect of it. These fans are fantastic. I really do like the RGB aspect. Um, compared to the other fans that I had, the RGB, the RGB and the noise level is a lot better. The other ones, it did make a weird, like uh, like a turbine sound, turbine. It's because, obviously, it was running uh, quite fast. But they're silent. Can't hear them. Absolutely fantastic. So... Yeah, this is my uh, Worth It series. I, I've got a few videos of these. So, yeah, I re I, st I think they're worth it. I do honestly know this is me now where I've tested so many different RGB fan kits on hands and game up here. Uh, there's, you know, I've obviously got the, the Be Quiet ones. I've had Antec. So, from personal experience using RGB, I love the RGB aspect. Uh, it does do three pin rgb connector on it uh, the the hub is connected by sata but um you can you can actually connect to your motherboard so it'll sync up to all your colors now uh what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be getting a case of be quiet and what i'll do is i'll showcase that but what i'll do is i'll put these in the case so then you can see the full aspect of it and you know, but I, I honestly think they're worth it. They're twenty eight ninety nine on Amazon for a pack of five. That's very, very reasonable. Uh, yes, you can get other packs on Amazon, but for five fans, they've got other RGB fans, uh, Etsy for forty five quid for a pack of five, and then they've got got packs of six, uh, packs of three. Or you can buy an individual, but these are fantastic for the price. So I'll leave the link at the bl down below if you want to check them out. I suggest go buying them. So yeah, right. That's the end of the video. Don't forget now that Saturday I've got my Cooler Master Half X Case Mod Part Two coming out. So don't forget to be subscribed. Don't forget to like. And this is Richard Welsh Tech. Goodbye.